How long would humanity's fastest spacecraft take to travel one light year? We know that. When a beam of light in space travels in a straight line for a full year. Travels in a straight line for a full year. That distance is called a light year. Roughly 9.4607 trillion kilometers. In comparison, the distance from the sun to earth is only 150 million kilometers. And earth's circumference is just 40,000 kilometers. So a light year is an immense distance for humans. Even the most advanced spacecraft today, to cross one light year, would face enormous challenges. For example, the Voyager 1 probe speed reaches 61,200 km per hour, over 170 times faster than a high-speed train. Sounds fast, right? But it's less than one ten-thousandth of the speed of light. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has used planetary gravity assists, like a slingshot effect, to accelerate. Now heading toward the Milky Way center, unable to return to Earth, facing only cold and loneliness, though its speed is 61,200 km per hour. At this rate, to travel one light year would take a staggering 17,000 years. Hard to imagine, isn't it? But Voyager 1 isn't the fastest. In 2018, the US launched a spacecraft, the fastest man-made object ever, the Parker Solar Probe. After multiple gravity boosts from Venus, when closest to the Sun, the Parker Probe can reach speeds of about 690,000 km per hour, around 0.06% of light speed. This is nearly the limit of what humanity can achieve today. But, sadly, even if a manned spacecraft reached this speed, it would still take over 1,500 years to travel. Just one light year. When you calculate these numbers, it makes you marvel at the vastness of the universe and the infinity of time. In the future, if humans want to cross light years for interstellar travel, there may be two ways. First, mastering warp drive technology, like in science fiction movies. Second, finding so-called wormholes for free travel through space. But these are just theoretical concepts, completely unrealistic for now. So for us, tiny beings, crossing one light year is incredibly tough, let alone the nearest star to the sun, Proxima Centauri, which is 4.2, two light years away, or the closest galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, 2.5, four million light years away, and the observable universe's diameter is a terrifying 93 billion light years. That's the universe. So vast, it's hard to comprehend. But we needn't worry, because the universe's size also means more mysteries lie deep in the cosmos, beyond light years, waiting for us to explore.